Isaiah chapter 28 and verse 18. Yeah. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled. Our people made a covenant with death. That's the, you made, when you went to Habibi and you bought that vape, you made a covenant with death. You chose to be in agreement with killing yourself. Go ahead. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. And the Lord go discontinue that, right? So if you want to keep doing that and you don't want the Lord to discontinue it, what you think God's going to do to you? Put you to death, brother. Right. Right? It's, it is what it is. And he probably don't even have to do it because you might do it yourself with that baby. It is what you don't even care, huh? Read again. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 28, and verse 18. Yeah. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled, uh -huh. and your agreement with hell shall not stand. Uh -huh. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, then you shall be trodden down by it. When that time come and shit get real out here and all hell break loose, you're going to be trodden down unless you repent and keep the command. You believe in God? You want God to be happy or mad at you? Happy. Happy, right? So you got to do what God told you to do. You can't continue to live your lifestyle as if there is no tomorrow. Right? Because YOLO is not a real cousin. Go ahead. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Yeah. Know you not that you are the temple of God. Hey, you the temple of God, brother. Go ahead. And that the spirit of God dwells in you. When it can't dwell in you if you have a malicious soul. Give me, give me that book of Solomon. I think. Go ahead. If any man defile the temple of God, uh -huh. him shall God destroy. Yeah, because you defiling your own temple. You basically telling the Lord, I don't want to deal with you. Right, go ahead. For the temple of God is holy. For the temple of God is holy. He created you to be holy, right? Go ahead. Which temple you are. Which temple you are. Ye are not of yourselves. Ye were bought with a price. You know what I said? Corinthians 6 and 20, I think. Give me that. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it up! For forward thought separate from God. That's so the brother, what he's doing is he, through his actions, he's separating himself from knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord, man. right? Go ahead. And his power, when it is tried, reproveth the unwise. Go ahead. For unto a malicious soul, into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter. Wisdom, you're not gonna have no knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the Lord because you're too busy sinning, man. Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead. Nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. And it, wisdom can't dwell in your body that's subject unto sin. And wisdom, give me that. Uh, two and fifteen. Wisdom is immortality. Immortality. Is that what I want? Give me what you got. Hold on. Let me get it right quick. Yes, yes, finish it, finish it. This is nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin. Uh -huh. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. Right, so if you have understanding and discipline, you're gonna get away from that. Give me wisdom of Solomon 8 and 17. Give me 1 Corinthians uh, 10 and 13. What's that? Yeah, you can drop that. Give me uh, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13, then you can get Sirach 18 and 30 as well. Go ahead. This is the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 8 and verse 17. Yeah. Now when I consider these things in myself, and I ponder them in my heart, how that that to be a, a allied. allied unto wisdom is immortality. So if wisdom can't enter into a, a malicious soul, and wisdom is also called immortality in that same exact book, then what you're doing is you're saying you don't want to live forever, man. Me and mine, we want to live forever, man. That's right. Yeah. Wisdom That's right. is immortality, and wisdom can't dwell in a malicious soul. So you can either do two things, die or clean up your act, man. That's right. It's that simple. Right? Go ahead. Give me that. Uh, 10 and what? 13. This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 13. Yeah. There have no temptation taking you by such as is common to man. Bro, that vape ain't that strong, my nigga. You feel me? It is not that strong. You can throw it away, bro. I promise you can. Mm -hmm. If I gotta stop smoking, everybody gotta stop smoking. <laughs> Straight like that. Don't be a drug addict, man. Go ahead. But God is faithful, uh -huh. who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are, are able. God know if you're a weak nigga, he's not gonna give you no real demon to fight, man. That's right. The fact that you gotta battle your own personal demons is specifically because God knows you have what it takes to win that fight. That's so good. if you lose in the fight, you're not applying yourself. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Is that it on that? Mm -mm. Go ahead. But will with the temptation also make a way to escape that you may be able to bear it. That you may be able to bear it, man. I promise it ain't that hard to kick the vape, bro. It's really not. Right? What, what I had, uh, Sirach 18 and 30? Yeah. What got you got? It. Go ahead. This is James 1 and 12. Yeah. 
Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. Ble what? Read again. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. A lot of niggas is weak, bro. You like the white man for real. Bring it out. Right? That's right. Gird up your loins, man. Right. Ain't, don't, don't Jeremiah say that. Gird up your loins. Grow some nuts, my nigga. That's right. That's right. Jesus Christ. Go ahead. But when he is tried, he, he shall receive the crown of life. Nigga say, I don't even care, man. I don't care. He, nigga don't need, uh, uh, a nigga don't even care about the crown of life. A nigga want to smoke a bathroom. Right? Read it again. He says, I'm going start, to start from the top. Blessed is the man that yeah, endures temptation, yeah. but when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life. But when you are tried afterwards, you will receive the crown of life. Go ahead. Which the Lord had promised to him that love him. Right. Let the, is that it? No, I'm going to go. Keep going, keep going. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. Mm -hmm. For God cannot be tempted with evil. Right. Neither tempted he any man. Go ahead. But every man is tempted when he is drawn away of his own lust. Of your own lust. That's when you are tempted. Right? Go ahead. It says, and enticed. Then when lust have conceived, it bringeth forth sin. Uh -huh. And sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. So you want to die. Right, you choose to die and have a covenant with that destruction over the kingdom of heaven. Romans 10 and what? Uh, 18 tells you the sufferings of this world isn't nothing to be compared to the glory of the kingdom of heaven anyway. Huh. So everything you sacrificing for the Lord, you're going to get back times 10, man. Mm -hmm. Right? But brothers is ignorant and that leads to their destruction. That's why the scripture says wisdom is immortality. Give me that. Uh, yeah, 18 and 30. This book of Sirach, chapter 18 and verse 30. Read yeah. Go not after your lust. Don't, yeah, I know it feel, you know what I mean, brother? He take a shot. I used to be in the world. You got a couple drinks, you know, you get that feeling. You know what I mean? When you hit that vape, I, I understand. But it's not worth the kingdom of heaven, though. Right. It's not worth your lungs. It's not you dying in a hospital bed because you got lung cancer. Right. It's not worth that. Right? Go ahead. Go not after your lust. But refrain yourself from your appetite. Refrain yourself from your appetite, Hebrew Israelites. Right? Go ahead. If you give your soul the desire that pleases her. Because when you give in to that feeling, go ahead. She will make you a laughing stock to Lord, your enemies. The Lord going to expose it and everybody going to say, look at him. He the same brother read in the Bible. Now you look like a hypocrite. Now nobody respects you. Right? So be strong and fight the good fight. Go ahead. Take not pleasure in much good cheer, uh -huh. neither be tied to the expense thereof. Right, so you got to clean up your act, be renewed in the spirit pertaining to Ephesians 4 and 22, and keep the commandments, for that is the whole duty of man. Right. I'm Officer Yaikwab, and I'm going to give all praises and honor and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and say Shalom. 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 Shalom.